I am Dwayne Morris, also known as Urban Soul Chef. Today I want to share a recipe with you for simple southern collard greens. This is going to be a simple recipe so anybody that's even just starting out cooking can make this recipe. And uh, collard greens are a staple in the south. We got turnip greens, mustard greens, and collard greens. If you're not familiar with collard greens, uh, most people today are familiar with kale. Kale and collards are very similar, all right? One of the things I've learned about collard greens is this, is that they are best eaten during cold weather. You can eat them in the summer, you can eat them in the spring, but a lot of times they'll be bitter and tough. But after that cold weather hits those collard greens, it knocks the bitterness and the toughness off and you have some tender, nice greens when they're cooked right. And that's what I want to give you today, a recipe to cook simple, tender, delicious, delicate collard greens. So let's get cooking. Let's get to cooking with these collard greens. Okay, what we need now is our ingredients. We're going to need collard greens, smoked meat, bacon, garlic cloves, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, sugar, and salt. Make sure you pick out some firm, beautiful, full collard greens. You can get the uh, smoked meat, meat of your choice, either uh, turkey necks, neck palms, whatever. As long as it's smoked pork, and some people even like smoked beef if that's available. So get all your ingredients together, and we're getting ready to start cooking. All right, get your boiler and fill it with water to the halfway mark. Get your meat, wash it off. Put it in the boiler, and this is where we're going to get our pork stock from. Pork stock is going to be used to boil the collard greens. It's going to cook for at least an hour and a half to tenderize the meat and to add flavor to the water. The white is nothing to be alarmed, it's just fat, which is nothing more than flavor. Get your greens, and we're going to um, start the cleaning process. Look how good these greens look. My goodness. All right, break them off from the bunch one by one. We're going to break them off, and once we break them off, we're going to break the stem off the back of them. Break it all the way up to the green, pretty much. That is hard, it takes longer to cook, and most people don't like them. It's looking good. Looking good. All of that is pork stock. Nothing to be alarmed about. It's just flavor. All right, get your garlic clove. Chop it up. All right, we're going to wash the greens again. Get about a fourth a cup of salt and half a cup of vinegar. Fill the sink to the halfway mark. Pour those ingredients in. And we're going to wash the greens again. We've already picked them for bugs and dirt, but we want to wash them a second time just to get them really clean. Okay, I skipped the process. I didn't show you how to cut the greens. So if this is your first time watching the video, just, just completely watch it, and you're going to see a clip in here that shows you how to cut the greens. It's real easy, real simple. I just forgot to put it in before this step. So you can see the greens are being cleaned. No bugs, no dirt, but just cleaning them off. Make sure they're clean. Okay, next we're going to saute the greens. And what you want to do is get a boiler that you want to finally cook the greens in and coat it with two tablespoons of olive oil. Now take the bacon, cut it up, and we're going to saute or fry the bacon. And once it fries a little bit, we're going to take the greens and saute the greens and olives in this olive oil and bacon mixture. And what that does is it breaks down the greens to cut down on the cooking time. Uh, the pork stock is to the side. The pork is either still cooking or either um, it's to the side. All right, right here you see where the greens are, have been sauteed. They sauteed to the point where they are withered, which means that they have partially cooked. You see the bacon as well as the uh, garlic. Now, 
quick step here is now take the pork stock that was left and pour it over the greens after they've sauteed and add the pork meat to it. The meat should be pretty much done, if not done. Add your salt in there as well. Now this is the process where I didn't show you how to cut the greens. You take the greens, they really look good too, don't they? Take them and you're gonna roll them up like a cigar. Lay them out one by one, stack them on top of each other. You can see my garlic that was cut up in the back. To take them out, lay them, and your greens should look like this. They shouldn't be withered. They should be firm, beautiful, beautiful leaves. Take them, and then you roll them up. <clears throat> roll them up just like a cigar. Take your knife after you've laid them flat and just begin to cut them. You can cut some about a quarter of an inch, some half of an inch, or you can cut them all the same, whichever preference you have as far as when you start eating them, what you desire. But you cut them up. Real easy, isn't it? Sometimes you have to go back and roll again. Cut them up. And as you cut them, lay them to the side and start the process until you have completely cut all your greens up. Lay them to the side, and that's when we get to the point where we're ready to saute them. All right, I'm back. That was a lot of work. But as I say, if you can cook collard greens, you can cook mustard, you can cook turnip, you can cook kale because collards, I would say, is the most difficult out of all the greens and you can hear them simmering in the background, but they are ready. They are done. They are done. Now, one thing I want to say when it comes to the seasoning, such as the vinegar, salt, and sugar, you have to use your own judgment. That's one of the things about soul food. There's some things that you can cook uh, that doesn't actually have accurate measurements because from person to person is going to be different and uh, not just from person to person but even from family to family is different so as you cook them taste the liquor and see if it is according to your preference but here we are we got the collard greens they are ready you can see the steam coming from them ready let's try them just the way I like them some people cook them until they are dead, no vegetables, no nutrients, nothing in them. I like to cook them right before they become too limp. I like to have just a little crunch in my collars. But you cook them the way you like them, that's what's special about soul food. So cook them and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. This recipe is so simple until anybody can cook them. Now, I got some collard recipes that once you get this one down, I'm going to put some others on that are a little more complicated because they deal with uh, stewing the meat and uh, a little more meat to the point to where the collards are actually the meal. So, try this. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for tuning in to the Urban Soul Chefs channel. God bless you. Mm. That is good. Good. Oh my G. I mean OMG.